Welcome to Hornbill TV. This is Yanka Kekrezanya Solo. You're now watching Nautis Express. A combined team of Imphal West and Tubal District Police Commandos who came to arrest the Inner Manipur Parliamentary Constituency independent candidate Moirang Tam Nong Shaba of Hayrock Part 2 from his residence were stopped by the people of Hayrock. The independent candidate had threatened to kill Manipur Chief Nisa and Biren Singh during a live show over the latter's alleged way of handling the Manipur conflict. Manipur has been in a state of turmoil since ethnic violence broke out in May 2023 between the valley-based Meite community and the hill-based Kukizo community. An additional session judge had granted anticipatory bail to Merang Tam, Totom Sana. As per reports, the police team consisting of about 25 vehicles, including bulletproof vehicles, reportedly came to arrest Totom Sana from his residence on Saturday night. The team reportedly planned to arrest him with the help of Hayrock Police Station, but reports of their arriving to arrest the independent candidate spread like wildfire. The people of Hayrock came out on the streets to block the roads and protested. The police could not come out of Hayrock Police Station, and at ear time, the police have not been able to arrest Nong Saba. Sources added that the police also issued to arrest not to arrest the candidate following to protests by the people of Hayrock. The Congress Party and Indian National Development Inclusive Alliance consensus candidate for the 18 Lok Sabha election, Supong Meron Jamir, kicked off his campaign at a town hall in Mokokchung on April 6. Jamir said that the forthcoming parliamentary election is being fought on not on political policies but on grounds of faith and ideology. He said that the faith traditions and customs of minorities are gradually being threatened and destroyed by the National Democratic Alliance-led government and its allies, which includes the United Democratic Alliance government of Nagaland. Jamir asserted that the NDA government is all set to wipe out secularism. He said that it is targeting Christians and other minorities in the country, an example of which can be seen in the forceful replacement of religious holidays on working days. Our MLS, the honorable members, should come forth and be happy. Give us a freedom to cast, to serve the religion, the tradition, and customs. But if the honorable MLS are still having to impose the RSS BGB activities on us, if some if the mama insists that it is a day, no no Hindu woman, no Zulu woman, no Christian, Hindu woman, as a superliver, no Hindu woman, that she never done. I don't see as a linear to me. Freedom for your casting of votes on the 19th of 
ब्रदा शिद्रस के इमले में असल में क्या डमी नबुर फ्रीडम समझो उसे तो ड्राइव करना इबादत की वजह असलानों ने शिकार की असलानों ने सुवाली बस समा सेरा मारा शिनो की इबाद पंडा को नगरों टीम के नजर पर लगते हैं ऐसे The Assam Rifles and the Manipur Police have seized a cache of arms and ammunition following searches on April 7th. A combined team of Imphal West District Police and the 33rd Assam Rifles conducted search and area domination operations in connection with the Lok Sabha elections. The searches were led by Imphal West Superintendent of Police at Uchiwa Lamp and area under Mayang Plum area of Imphal West District. The police search fish arms, farm houses, and other nearby houses during which a huge cache of arms, ammunition, explosives, and WT sets were found among tall grasses near fish farms. The items were found wrapped with clothes in bags. However, the police have made no arrest in this regard. Responding to the Congress Party's alleged statement to remove the Bhatia Janta Party government in Manipur, the Manipur BJP has asserted that the state's government is a law-abiding institution under the Constitution of India and removal of a popular government is unethical and unconstitutional. The statement was given by the BJP unit's spokesperson Johnson Ilangbam. He was noting the Congress Party's reported statement that it would remove the government once the party comes to power at the centre. Ilangbam spoke to media persons at Thambal Sanglan, BJP Bhavan. He also said removing a popular government is highly unethical and unconstitutional on the part of the opposition as the Congress has claimed it would do after securing power at the centre. Questioning the Congress call for an administrative settlement in all the issues concerning the state, Ilangbam said there is apprehension among the public whether or not the Congress and its senior leaders actually agreed to the demands for a separate administration demanded by the cookie community in Manipur. Party has come out with their manifesto. In that manifesto, in uh, in one particular chapter, I think it is chapter eight, and there is a naughty section, and number five of that section. In that section, it is written that the current crisis is caused by the negligence, and solely the state government is responsible for this crisis. This is what has been written in that manifesto. So the first task of the Congress when it comes to power in Delhi will be to remove this government, BJP government in the state. And if you have gone through the entire manifesto of the Congress which was released yesterday, it is also written in one section, in one chapter that they will evade and defend the constitution of India. Now as a party, and it has, it has again mentioned that it will uh, put an end to the state BJP government when it comes to power. Itself is unconstitutional and contradictory to what it has uh, written in another chapter. So, the whole manifesto itself is bogus, it's only election oriented, it's nothing else. And again, if and when we further go down in that section, it is also mentioned that the Congress party will bring an amicable political settlement and also an administrative settlement. The literal meaning of administrative, administrative, administrative settlement is not clearly mentioned in that manifesto. What we fear is that for long, the cookie groups 
are demanding for a separate administration from Manipur, including their MLAs. And what has been mentioned in that manifesto that an administrative settlement would be brought when it comes to power itself seems to be synonymous with the demand of these groups and what has come out in the manifesto. So what we fear is, are the, is the Congress party really trying to woo the other party or simply agree to their demand of bringing a separate administration in Manipur? This is what we are asking. It is what the entire people of Manipur will be asking. We need a clarification from the Congress party regarding this. Otherwise, it will be construed and concluded that, that the Congress is acting at, in part with the demands of the Kuki groups who are demanding for a separate administration from within the state of Manipur. So this is our uh, first point. And second point is, it is also referred to the Indo Naga political dialogue that it will bring an amicable solution in relation to an agreement, preliminary agreement which, which was done in somewhere in 2012 and 13. It was never there as, 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 as we know the final agreement regarding the Indo-Naga political dialogue was concluded in 2015 on August 3rd. So what kind of uh, agreement, prelim preliminary agreement which they are referring is not is yet to be known and this also bring out the level of you know uh, ignorance of their ignorance into the core issue of Manipur and the entire draft uh, the entire uh, manifesto that was released yesterday not even mentioned for a one time, one time about NRC and the Congress leaders and even the candidate Congress uh, uh, candidate are now touring across the state that the Congress support NRC. I don't know how it will be founded at the grassroots level or it will be connected in the grassroots level. As far as we know, right from Rahul Gandhi regarding NRC, since 2016, there is always a negative comment regarding NRC that the Congress fully doesn't endorse NRC and the NPR. And the vivid example of their claim can be seen in Telangana, where NRC and NPR uh, CAA will not be implemented in the state of Telangana. It's not, imp it's not implemented. In an admirable endeavor to uphold the traditional dances of Riot Nonglingdo, the Dorbar Raid Nonglingdo organized a vibrant Shad Sajar event aiming to celebrate the rich culture heritage of the community. Held at the Sacred Grove, the event featured various traditional dances performed by local troops, drawing eager residents. Raja Brahma, ADC of Reboy District, and B.B. Magdo, President of Sinjuk Ki Rangba, Shinong, Reboy District, were among the dignitaries present. The event marked uh, ancestral rituals, hold significance as a pre-sowing season, prayer for a bountiful harvest and prosperity. Brahma applauded raid Nonglingdo efforts, stressing the importance of preserving cultural identities for maintaining unity among diverse communities. Jika kaya rasa izin, rasa rai nomor dua, salah dan penuh ya kaya program, ya kaya syat kekemen, ya kaya kuk karyam penerai, ha ini ulung kentang, ulung kentang saja lah kok kaya gari karai kejauh ini. Ya kaya kaya syat saja, balabuk laseng dan nyukong, nadu tipor barim baca, ha tepor penanduan kan yang berhukum, katinya katiam, kembala betai dan syerman, Bahawa kepor kepentang don dan lekan niang korupom Kiling doa sah Biju Nya sisim sisim Batu ni usik lindo Ubah Yui yang ni Ubah klem tim Nangal yang tunggi Sunjuk kira-kira senang 
ni wish ni sesisir bagani ni tingsap saja kan long kebajok ni kesi aku apa ni tu ipi ki bobun ki kena samla kata maka pateng ke bamenta gim tu tip chok ya ni ki tenrai nang nong ibi ka ai ka tenrai ka bangidon ki ai ki tradition ki bangidon lada dei ha ki sak tenrai lada dei ha ka bang ka di gim tip chok ngayo i hanteng hanteng Kumba menta kilai penolong syat penerai Kong den kong nak Badan kong nak Itu terbaru ayo nak dut Dia punya kencuk yang ini syat penerai Dia bakum gini Bapa kakun ini Dia kendai gini pun Bapa yak beru semua ni Dia kena kamu jok Dia bapa yang tua ni Dia jok Dia kot tau pun ni Dia kot Dia kot Dia kot Dia kot Tomba rais ni lah Dia kot Dia kot Dia kot Dia kot Dia kot Dia kot Ikinya mau jer keting jer kur itu dengan gambar. Ibu orang betray pun open notice. Nili garu, nili buru, nili raba. Ia kerja setuju jadi yang itu juga. Ini je kue mau jadi pendiri mau ni. Ia masa ni orang kena sertifikat dalam justice. Tribal sertifikat ni lah pakai ini tribal. Tambah pilih kah itu Oxford Dictionary. Kalau orang buat tribal. Buat macam ni lalu, buat yang follow the tradition, culture, na, ancestor, orang ramah, mana orang ramah, ni hap plan no, the culture dah jauh ni kau. Unde masa ni orang tak travel sebab kita kan, ni dia travel once kau makan dia. Hi, undam jingkrong, ya riti dosto dah jauh, pun kau pun mau travel. Ni bahawa kita ni, ni orang jingkrong na, lindo orang kau, jingkrong ni hap, kape. A tragic road accident occurred in Mukal Mua, Assam on Saturday, resulting in one fatality and five individuals sustaining severe injuries, prompting the victims were admitted to Mukal Mua Subdivision Civil Hospital, with two of the critically injured transferred to Guwahati Medical College and Hospital. According to eyewitnesses, accounts Two buses travelling from Barpeta to Guwahati were reportedly speeding, leading to one of them colliding with a cyclist, resulting in the cyclist's immediate death. Additionally, a roadside shop suffered damage in this collision. The deceased cyclist was identified as Siddiq Ali, while the injured were named as Ibadul Islam, Imran Ali, Abdul Salam and Jintu Mehdi. Local authorities have initiated an investigation into the incident to ascertain further details. इमरान अली हट्र बस आब्दुल सालाम पंद्रह बस जीतु मेधी बस बस a major fire ripped through the Meghalaya Public Health Engineering Department's storage facility in Shanmari, Lumshayab, in Shillong on Saturday afternoon. Take black smoke filled the sky as flames engulfed the storage area, which contained large quantities of flexible plastic pipes. Local said fire tender officials suspect the blaze originated in a nearby forest and spread to the storage facility. The MEC 
Elves swiftly cut electricity to the area as a precaution, restoring power once the fire was contained. Pira Kongpai, the Rangba Shunong of Lum Shiab, alerted the Meghalaya fire and emergency services upon noticing the fire around 3 p.m. Firefighters arrived quickly and deployed 8 to 10 tenders to extinguish the inferno. Initial reports suggest children playing with the fire in the forest might have sparked the blaze. The exact cause remains un under investigation, said an official. PHE Executive Engineer A. Sun estimates the fire caused loss of approximately rupees 80 to 85 lakhs. The department plans to discuss fencing the property with the Dorbar Shinong Local Council to prevent future incidents. The Rangba Shinong has announced that the Executive Committee will hold a meeting to discuss the fire safety measures and advisories for the community. Amid the rising temperatures in the plains, people from different states flocked to the Nainital to escape unwavering heat. A massive crowd gathered at Naini Lake to enjoy the best time in the waters and beat the heat. Tourism industry is happy with the surge in number of tourists. People coming to Nainital are also visiting tourist spots including Snow View, Himalaya Darshan, Gave Garden, Waterfall and Botanical Garden. The police administration is also taking measures to ensure safety of the tourists. देखिए अब जैसे कि आपको पता है कि चुनाव हो रहे हैं और पूरे देश में चुनाव है और लास्ट फेज चुनाव का जो लास्ट है वो वोटिंग है वो जून चार तारीख को है तो हमारा सीजन तब चरण पे होगा और जो पर्यटक जो नैनीताल आता है तो हर आदमी देखिए कार्ड और गूगल पे वगैरह यूज नहीं करता कैश लेके भी लोग चलते हैं क्योंकि हमारा मोस्टली पर्यटक जो है उत्तर प्रदेश से है और डेली एन से है तो उसमें कुछ परेशानियां आएंगी तो हो सकता है पर्यटक कुछ कम आए यहाँ पे क्योंकि चेकिंग बहुत है रास्तों में यहाँ पर बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है बहुत ठंडी जगह है यहाँ पे क्योंकि नोएडा में ज़्यादातर गर्मी पड़ रही है इसलिए हम यहाँ थोड़ा सर्दी में के लिए हमने निकाल आए हैं झील में हमने बहुत मस्ती की है और राफ्टिंग भी की है हमने बहुत ज़्यादा जिस हमें बहुत अच्छा लगा है नैना देवी मंदिर गए थे और वो कैची धाम गए थे बोटिंग की थी हमने और भी बहुत सारी जगह घूमने की That's all for the Nautist Express. Thank you for watching Hornbill TV.